Now that story so many of you have seen already, a nine-year-old runaway took quite a trip to Sin City, sneaking through airport security, hopping a Vegas-bound flight, and he didn't even have a boarding pass. It happened last week at Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. A spokesman says the boy took a train to the terminal, no adult with him at all, he didn't have a ticket, and he reportedly made, made it past security screening behind another family. And from there, he got right on a Delta plane. Delta gets you there with care. Airline crews say they got suspicious around mid-flight after they noticed the kid was all alone, but he wasn't one of those unaccompanied minors, so they're like, how did this happen? Crews called the police in Las Vegas, and Child Protective Services took this stowaway after the plane landed in Vegas. We reached out to a Delta spokesman for a statement, and the airline said, in part, safety and security are always Delta's highest priorities, and we are reviewing our policies and procedures to make sure something like this does not happen again. But here's the thing. Workers at Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport say the same boy was at the terminal the day before all this went down. We're told he grabbed a bag from the luggage carousel, then ordered some lunch at a terminal restaurant and skipped out on the bill. That's the restaurant. With us now, Fox 4 and one contributor and columnist, Diana Falzone. I, Diana, I don't, I don't know how this happens. I, I, I can't get through often with a ticket. Same thing here. It really doesn't make any sense. And there was a huge gap, a number of hours, where the, the kid was missing from his parents' home. That's the part that gets me. We're blaming TSA and airline security, but where was the mother on all of this and the father? Well, you know, you blame TSA and airline security because they're the ones who are supposed to stop you from going. I, I can see getting behind mm -hmm. another family, but I mean, I've seen them do all kinds of crazy pat downs to kids in the distant past. Exactly. And this guy just walks through. What, what, what is the plan now? The plan? <laughs> you know, I know they're, they're investigating. They've got to come up with a plan to stop this from happening again. You, you would think so. And I, I think that there, unfortunately, <laughs> isn't really a plan. I don't, I don't believe that they have anything to, to help them stop this in the future. I mean, now are they going to stop every single child to make sure they have a ticket? Because this was a very clever child. This is a young evil genius on our hands here. <laughs> the same kid who was able to get, out, get away without paying the bill the day before. What's he doing at the airport two days in a row? Well, and that's the thing. Who did not realize that this kid was slipping through the cracks the entire time? Well, apparently nobody realized it. I mean, no one. I, you wonder how it is that they are going to convince us that they can stop terrorists. And I know they can stop my shampoo bottle from getting through. They're very good at and that. And they've stopped me before. I've gone through, I've never even set off the, the security alarm and been stopped and, and frisked all throughout. So, yeah, this is a big problem. Luckily, he did go through security screening. They, yep. they did say that he didn't have, any, obviously, anything that was alarming. But he did not have a ticket. So how did he board that plane? And I'm, I'm curious to see who's going to take responsibility for this. But there are so many questions, so little answers. And I think this is going to be a developing story. Yeah, I, I, and I wonder, too, because... It seems like every plane you fly on these days is completely full. I just wonder if he was standing around in the back with the, with the flight attendant or something, because there's never an extra seat. Apparently, they and, said And don't they have to scan the thing, and it goes bang and shows your name, exactly. and they look at an ID and all that? He must be rolling? one really cute kid who was <laughs> able to just smile his way onto the plane, but they said it was not a crowded flight, that he said, oh, my parents are sitting in the back. So mm -hmm. that's how the, the sources are reporting this. What would you say earlier? He showed up Ferris Bueller? <laughs> he showed up Ferris Bueller, that's for sure. He showed up all of us and Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Diana Felzone, thanks.